How are we doing guys? Today I just want to take a little bit of time and show you a ozone tote that I made. Um, I already had the sink crusher ozone unit from a really good cell that I found almost two years ago I think it was. The deal that I found almost two years ago was the sink crusher ozone bag as well as the go vehicle uh, cigarette lighter plug-in unit and that little go unit uh, for the vehicle just puts o3 in the vehicle and eliminates the odors in there so i was originally just going to start out and buy one of these units off of amazon that are very similar to the sink crusher units but i thought that deal was just too cheap to pass up and especially i wanted the uh, truck unit as well so i went ahead and bought that deal and then I just found some cases where I would like to have the tote instead of the bag. I went ahead and uh, just bought a regular plastic tote as you can see here. And then I'll just kind of show you some changes that I made to it. So we'll just start by taking a look at the end where I put the ozone unit itself. Uh, what I did was I just took these 3M plastic hanging hooks. I was going to drill just a couple holes through here to hang the unit off of, but these plastic hanging hooks have been holding up really well. So just take the unit itself and you can see on the back here, it's got a couple places for screws or whatever you want to use to hang this unit from. So just take it, get everything lined up and it just slides right on there. You can see it's hanging there by itself. So right here is where the hose is going to attach and I'll show you this, but then all I have to do is run it to this location right here. I've drilled a hole right here, just barely big enough for the hose to go through. Uh, stuck this bolt through it for now and then put a rubber washer on the outside and then one on the inside as well. So everything is just airtight and no air is leaking out. I'll go ahead and show you a few changes I made to the inside of the unit. So this here, open up, and if you notice you can't see very well. See if I can hold this up here. There we go, now we can see. So at first I didn't know if I would like this light or not that I just um, glued on the top of, or the bottom of this lid. But man, early in the mornings, whenever, you know, the truck bed's just completely dark, um, might not have my headlamp on yet, might not want to fumble with a flashlight or whatever it might be, that, that right there has just kind of been a lifesaver. It's just super handy to reach up, click on, and then everything inside, as you can see, will be just bright as can be. So that's pretty handy. What I've done here is I've put this very strong suction cupped hook in here and I can hang about anything from this and it's going to fully support it. Hang a hat, I can hang a pair of gloves, I can put my rock climbing harness on here which I use as part of my uh, safety system and in the middle here you'll notice this little rope. Uh, this is just 550 cord attached by some of those 3M hooks again. So this kind of acts just like a clothesline. Uh, I can drape some gloves over this. I can drape socks over it. Um, hats, I can, you know, unsnap the back of it, snap it over the top of this, and the hat will just lay there. Once again, it just gets stuff up off of the clothes in the bottom. Or if boots are on one side and clothes are on the other, it's real nice to have this little, I just called it a clothesline, where I can hang about anything I need to on there. So on the bottom side of this lid, you can see... I just took some window or door trim and just ran it all the way around that lid to where everything is airtight. So as you can see I went ahead and plugged in the hose to the side of the unit and as you can see it fits in there pretty close to perfect, almost airtight. And there it is coming on the inside. 
And then I use that clothesline and I just kind of drape it over the top. And that way it's not laying on the clothes, but it is pointing down to everything. I don't know. That's just what I did. That's how I set mine up. Uh, I've been using it quite a bit. So I also use this tote sometimes just to transport stuff. Maybe when I'm not using it to put ozone into it. But I like using these um, fresh earth scent wafers. And they come with these safety pins. So I can just hook these in here. Put one there. I can put one on my fancy clothesline. That just keeps the tote and all the garments and boots or whatever is in here smelling like fresh earth uh, if I'm not running the ozone. So just another idea there. So there it is, guys. That's what works for me. Sometimes whenever I'm not wanting to use the uh, sink crusher bag, I'll just use this tote here that I made, put together. Works pretty well for me. Nothing fancy. As always, I do appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Make sure and subscribe and follow along. And as always, happy hunting. You can't beat it. See you guys later.